Hello guys, this is Afronix. In this video, we are going to take you step by step on how you can connect Putius 8 Professional to Arduino IDE. Arduino IDE in the sense will be making use of the serial monitor and the serial plotter. Alright, so just like the one you are seeing in the video, we'll be displaying values and we'll be running our component in Purchase 8 Professional and the values and the graph will be plotted in Arduino Serial Monitor and also Arduino Serial Plotter. Alright, so now let us go straight into the project. Basically, we want to connect Arduino to Purchase 8. So how can we do that? It's through using serial port. Okay. And this serial port, we cannot connect them physically. So with that, we just have to use a virtual serial port. And the name of the virtual serial port we will be using for today is going to be ComOCom. And ComOCom is a free open software that you can use to connect your computer virtually to any serial port. Okay, so this is how our project is going to be about. But first, let us go and see how to download and install com or com, and then we go for our connection. All right, so here is the download link for com or com. And mind you, this link is in the description below. Check it out and follow along. Okay, if you come to this link, we have to scroll right down. If you want to do a write-up about this, here is the post for the whole project. So if we go right down, here we can download the com or com. Okay, it says subscribe to unlock the link. So if you, what it basically does is that you subscribe to Afronix so that the link will be unlocked and you will download freely. All right, so you just click on it. Another window will open. And this window will navigate you to Afronix YouTube channel. Okay, so you only have to do is to subscribe and don't forget the bell as well so that you will unlock the download link. If you have already subscribed, just like I've done, it's going to show here subscribe. But if you haven't done that, smash the red button and don't forget the bell as well. So you come back to the previous page, then scroll right down. Then you see a nice message thanks now click to download just click on it wait for a while boom it will start to download so here is it downloading now let us go and unzip and also install com o com all right now we have downloaded the com o com so what we need to do is to right click and say extract here now we have two file extracted, the XE file. We have one which is for 64 bit, and then we have the one which is for 86 windows. Okay, so we're going to use the 64 bit. Right click, say run as administrator. Now you just have to click next, agree. Okay, tick this, we are going to use the COM to connect the Arduino IDE and the purchase the virtual port okay but let us use this maybe in the long run you may want to use this properties so just click next here it will be installed next so just allow it to do the installation said installation completed say next now you want to launch this feature let us say okay launch setup click on this one say finish then here is our com com so we have here um com 3 and com 4 is already active so let us just make use of this com 3 and com 4 will be connecting com 3 to arduino and com 4 to purchase so you just click apply okay all right so we'll be using com 3 and com 4 so let us just close this 
all right so this is how we're going to do our connection first we need arduino which is the microcontroller and also we need the virtual monitor that is in purchase it and also we have the compin this compin is the one that will serve as a bridge between the, the Proteus and the Arduino IDE and then we have the potentiometer of which we are going to read values from and then this potentiometer will be powered up and also it will be grounded then the values will be collected using the analog pin of Arduino which is A0 alright then the transmitter part of the compin will be connected to the transmitter of the Arduino and the receiver of the compin will be connected to the receiver part of the Arduino then the transmitter side of the, the virtual serial monitor that exists in Proteus will be then be connected to the receiver and the receiver will be connected to the transmitter of the Arduino so this is how we are going to connect our circuit. Let us go straight into Proteus 8 and do the connection. Alright, so now let us find our component and connect them in the schematic capture. All right, so now it's now time for us to edit our compim. Double click on it. Then we are going to use the com. We said that com4 will be coming for Proteus. So we click on com4. Then try to col connect the baud rate. So if you click on the baud rate, we are going to use uh, 9600. Same thing here, 9600. OK, so you click on OK. So it is now set. Now let us go to our Arduino and see how to generate the code. All right. So from here, we'll go straight to file. From file, go to examples. Examples, go to basics. From basics, we go to this one. Analog read serial. All right. Click on it. All right. So now here it is analog read serial. All right. So everything has been defined here we have the baud rate the potentiometer is connected to ao all right so we have to go to tools then go to com port it is already connected to com3 then we say run good now it's done compiling let us look for the x file you can see it here dot hex so we click from here then type control c to copy let us come to our arduino in our arduino just click then go to this program file control v to paste click ok now let us minimize and see so now let us click on the serial monitor and click play here. As we can see here is for the purchase and then in the serial monitor it is being displayed here. So if we change values, so if we decrease the values, as we can see the value here is 440 and here also is 440 and also we want to plot the plotter now let us first go to tools then go to serial plotter here it is then we have to run then as we can see the graph is being set up so we can see here the delay here is one so let us increase it to 100 okay so compile it Right, it's done compiling, so no need to. It will automatically go to purchase. So let us run this. Now we can see the value is at zero. So let us increase gradually. Then, as we can see, the plot is being made in serial plotter. Increase decrease so this is how you go about in plotting 
so guys this is what i have for you today if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash that red button and also don't forget to share this video with someone whom you know that it will be of a great help too all right so guys thank you for watching this video